So the summer vacation's almost over and your gap year's almost done. It's time to go back to school or college or university. This look is just for you. So welcome to Elton J. Fernandez. So you've always wondered how to get that ombre colored bits in your hair without doing it, you know, like a permanent damage with chemicals or anything. You want a quick color. Mm. So this hair chalking tutorial is about chalk. Uh, these are Camel soft pastels. What you don't need is oil pastels. You want to go for something that's non-oil. Very important because otherwise it won't leave your hair and you can't blame me. So this one is for 160 rupees. You've got all these lovely colors that can go into your hair. Now, if you're darker haired, you want to use brighter colors. But if you're lighter haired, if you've got light brown or blonde hair, then you want to use the deeper colors and they might show up, show up better. So all you need for this tutorial is the soft pastels, a water spray, and a paddle brush to brush your hair. So to begin with, I'm just going to brush Zara's hair. Sorry, you never said hi. Hi. <laughs> so we use a purple, yeah. maybe a bit of blonde. Okay. So there's like a few bits of blonde. All you do is take um, sections of your hair and just wet it so the chalk has something to stick onto. A smart thing to do would be wear a towel, but yeah. Zara's not going to look as pretty in a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you might, but not in a way it's good for a family channel. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to take a smaller section. Right? I'm literally going to, remember now, just downward strokes. You don't want to go against uh, the follicle, against the grain, because that will damage your hair. So you want to just, you can keep your head steady here. Right? You can also twist your hair and go across, go down that way. It, it gets, it catches more color. Now at the risk of looking like a sexy doctor, I am going to get into my very cheap 50 rupee latex gloves. Okay, so now with my gloves on, I'm going back with the chalk in her hair and just. Is it pulling? I suppose when you're doing this at home in your own hair, you can be a little more brutal, but it isn't my hair, it's yeah, Sarah's hair. But you can see why you need the gloves. Now remember that this color will last only for one wash if you're darker haired. If you're lighter haired, it will probably last for two washes, but that's it. And you also want to make sure that you're wearing a top that is a similar color to the, um, the color you're going to use because eventually it's going to keep rubbing off as the day progresses. Oh yeah, you get these at uh, basic stationeries. This little bang here can be blonde. So I'm going to complete a little on the left side of her face and come right back to you. So now that I've finished her right and her left side, I've just, I've not done the back because it's too much work. <laughs> but I've finished the right and the left. I'm now going to take a hair dryer. Oh, I know, okay. right? <laughs> and blast dry the hair so it's completely dry. So now that all that hair is dried, we're going to go in with a straightening iron. Everyone has a straightening iron. And just take the bits that you've colored and run your iron through them. I'm just going to iron this hair flat. And let the heat of the iron seal the color into the hair. That may temporarily. Um, you can even use a curling iron and create a sort of tong effect. Um, but this is just easy. So I would like to mention that the chalk, uh, the powdery nature of the chalk does dry out the hair. So all you need to do is deep condition your hair or just regular condition your hair once you've washed it off and that ought to take care of the texture. So there, <laughs> and there we have it. That's uh, your ombre colored hair. You know, so I, I figured that the blonde really doesn't look as I don't know if you can see this bang here. It's there. I don't, I don't really know how it looks in the camera. Maybe it looks nice, but I like the purple. So you can do all of these colors, blues or greens, or you know, mix two colors. Um, it does take a while to get the chalk on the hair, especially if you're doing someone else's hair. You have to be careful that you don't snag the hair. Um, but when you're doing your own, you know how much it's going to pull. Mm. So, and that's it really, simple. Like I said, remember to wear a top 
that the color is going to run onto, so you don't care much about the top. It will wash off the next day when you launder it. However, just be careful about that top. Remember that your fingers are going to get dirty, so put on your latex gloves. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Do write into us and tell us how you liked the tutorial, how you liked Zara, if you remember her from the last <laughs> Friendship Days episode. Um, you did look beautiful there. Thank you. Thank you. As you Thank do you. now. <laughs> Anywho, so, uh, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Take care. See you next week. Zara skin tone, it is, it is that middle sort of Indian tone, not, not pale, uh, not too dark, it's just beautiful, it's, it's, you know, you can identify it by just looking at her, you know she's Indian.